Today's Bible study is titled Are You So Foolish? Having questioned the Galatian believers as to how they had received the Holy Spirit in Galatians 3 verse 2, Received ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Knowing the difference in this regard between the gospel of the kingdom as preached by the twelve and little flock and the gospel of the grace of God which Christ revealed to Paul, we continue with this line of questioning. Are ye so foolish? Having begun in the Spirit, are ye now made perfect by the flesh? Have ye suffered so many things in vain? If it be yet in vain. He therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit, and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith. Galatians 3 verses 3 to 5. Let's dig in here. Paul continues his questioning with, Are ye so foolish? After recording his somewhat critical assessment of the Twelve and James the Lord's half-brother in Galatians 2, Paul is now similarly critical of the Galatian believers and with good reason. For to be convinced to give up the liberty of the heavenly gospel of grace in exchange for Israel's earthly covenanted kingdom gospel is foolish. Paul essentially answers the question that was Galatians 3 verse 2 with another question, first noting as a given that the Galatian believers had obviously begun in the spirit, simple belief by grace through faith no works, instead of by the flesh, repentance belief followed by obedience of the Mosaic law. Putting this together, Paul asks, Are ye so foolish? Having begun in the spirit, are ye now made perfect by the flesh? As we've pointed out before here in Bible Game Changer, in this dispensation of the grace of God, works of the law are works of the flesh and there is no place for such under grace. In fact, Paul says such, pervert the gospel of Christ. Galatians 1 verse 7 Despite the accord reached at the Jerusalem Council, which was that, we trouble not them, which from among the Gentiles are turned to God, Acts 15 verse 19, there were those kingdom believers who were still effectively, saying, you must be circumcised, and keep the law, Acts 15 verse 24, to the Galatian believers, as evidenced by Paul's response. And these Galatian believers were also persecuted by non-kingdom believing Jews, as well, noted in, Have ye suffered so many things in vain? If it be yet in vain. Galatians 3 verse 4. So, Paul's question is effectively, Why would you seek to be under the Mosaic law when those adhering to it have been the source of your persecution and suffering? Finally, of the sign gifts that the Galatian believers had been empowered to demonstrate because Jews require a sign. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 22, Paul asks, He therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit, and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Galatians 3 verse 5 Obviously, the answer, that the Galatians knew well, was that such miracles worked before the Jews was, by the hearing of faith, and not, by the works of the law. So, the obvious conclusion and question Paul was effectively stating was, this being so, then why are you listening to these who trouble you, contrary to the Jerusalem Accord, and seek to put you under the law? As we've said before in Bible Game Changer, it really matters, and if you are part of a teaching that includes the Mosaic Law or even some type of church law regarding salvation or God-pleasing behavior, then you have invited works of the flesh into your rule of faith and practice. The entirety of Paul's writing to the Galatians was to thwart such teaching, read it for yourself. Though there previously was another gospel, in this dispensation of the grace of God, there is only one gospel and that is the gospel of the grace of God, Acts 20 verse 24, which Christ revealed to Paul in which there is no room for works of the law, which are effectively works of the flesh, Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9, and a yoke of bondage, Galatians 5 verse 1. Believer, 
Stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Galatians 5 verse 1 Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.